Hello all, Project Wargaming back with an update. I uh, have gotten all my um, zoovs and uh, miniatures uh, infantry painted up, so now I'm starting to go in and, and base them. Uh, so, well, they're already based, now I need to flock them. So, in the past what I've done uh, is I have just come in with your simple old technique of um, having the base um, done. You can see I spray paint them and, and coat them just a green, a dark green, and then I go in with uh, just a kind of a watered down glue almost, uh, something kind of like this, which is just a uh, Mod Podge with some paint mixed into it. Um, and that's worked okay. Um, it does fine. I find that it dries a little bit fast uh, if I'm trying to do a bunch of miniatures. Um, and so it's a, it's a little tricky to, to get on there before it dries up. Uh, so I've thought about it a little bit too. Um, the other thing that um, can sometimes be a little annoying is that the glue doesn't uh, cover up the bases or the lumps of the bases very well. So it's not a very thick material. Even if I put a th some thickener into the glue, it still uh, tends to, to kind of show those. So um, this was especially true when I was doing the six millimeter for the uh, um, uh, World War II stuff. Um, so anyways, I've kind of thought about it and thought about it a little bit more, but then I was listening to new podcasts called God's Own Scale. And uh, in this, uh, in one of the earlier episodes, um, there was a guy who talked about using silicone to uh, coat the base. So uh, I, I knew kind of what he was talking about. So here in America, we have DAP, which is just found at Home Depot. And you can get it in browns and, and things like that. So that's what I am starting to base my troops with is uh, use this. Uh, it's just a, a very thick material. Um and you put it on. So in the past, what I did was I, I went in and painted all the bases first or the edges to give that uh, round, uh, red for Confederates and, and blue for Union. Um, however, with this, uh, this stuff is so kind of thick and um, uh, definitely has a color to it. So it's it doesn't work quite as well to, to do it that way. So all I do is, especially on the ba back of the base, you uh, go in and just kind of basically icing it on. I don't know if you ever tried to ice in a cake or, or something, but um, that's what you do. I just use just a uh, simple little uh, popsicle stick, tongue depressor, whatever you want to call them. And then after that, I have a small little tool that I just use to, to press it. All around and I find with the working time being longer on this that uh, I can take my time get in some of these uh, hard to get areas um, also with it being thicker it tends to make the the base look a little bit uh, more even um, I don't have kind of the base sticking out quite as much um, and then with with the material being a little thicker too, uh, I just find manipulating it on the base is a little bit easier for me. Um, so all I do is just kind of go around and get it in there. If I got not enough in one area, I can just uh, pick it up and drag it over to another area. So um, I just get it to that shape take my hand and ream around the other areas there. Uh, if I got some lumps or something, I can just uh, move those down. So that's what I get. So that in and of itself doesn't look terrible. Uh, if you let that dry, that would be uh, shiny. All you'd have to do is hit it with uh, some dull coat or something just to, uh, to get it down and it would be fine. Um, so then after I've gotten it to where I want it to be, all I do is just uh, have my little box of flock underneath, 
put it in there and then just bring it back out and that is flocked. So uh, you can kind of come around the edge. Typically I would do this over my box so it's not as messy. Um, and then that's it. So you do need to let this stuff dry overnight. Um, but uh, I think it I think it works pretty well. It certainly works as well as what I was doing. Uh, it allows me a little bit more time to be able to uh, work with the material, which I like. I always kind of felt rushed last time. Um, so uh, I just kind of like this this new little uh, basing system or this this new material to to base with. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to listen to God's Own Scale podcast, it's a it's pretty cool. He's had some really interesting guests on there, um, and uh, I always kind of pick up something new when I listen to it. So I think his name is Sean. So uh, he's uh, doing doing something nice for the hobby. So anyways, uh, that's it. Talk to you later.